Hey guys, welcome to Reddit Brew. Today, I will be reading from the r slash Entitled People subreddit. So let's jump into it. Entitled Guy asked me whether it would be worth his time to pursue me. Happened a while ago now, but honestly, it still boggles my mind. I was in a long-term relationship that was nearing its end. However, only my nearest and dearest were aware of the rocky period. Now, I met this guy at a house party with his non-girlfriend, but they were basically dating. He's pretty good looking, but that's where the train stops. He flirted with every girl at the party, including myself, despite me attending with my boyfriend. I ended up chatting to the girl who was adorable and honestly was a complete ass to the lad. I couldn't have been more clear in my disinterest. Anyway, after the party, most of the new people I'd met added me, including Entitled Guy. I accept, because why not? I accepted everyone else, but that's where it ends. No chit chat, nada. Anyways, out of the blue, he suddenly starts messaging me with the normal stuff, like, Hi, how are you? When out of nowhere, he suddenly asks, so, is it worth my time? Of course, I have no idea what he's talking about because seriously, who does that? And then he asks, is it worth my time flirting with you while you have a boyfriend? Like, how likely are you to cheat? I hear things aren't good, but I'm not going to put in the effort if I'm not going to get anything. To say my flabber was gassed is an understatement. I asked him if I'd given him any indication within my clear disdain of him that I wanted him or had hinted even remotely towards that. And his response, ladies and gents, the audacity. Everyone wants me, they just don't know it yet. I said the first thing that came to my mind, which was I'd rather shit in my hands and clap than do anything with you. If someone gives you zero indication they even like you, let alone fancy you, perhaps don't ask them if it's even worth your effort to make a play for them. Seriously? I mean snaps for the balls on him, but also he must have some deep pockets to keep all that audacity in. Safe to say, I removed him quite swiftly from my friends list. I love this OP. Her response is amazing, and the shutdown on Chad is oh so satisfying. Dudes like the one in this story drive me crazy, acting like they're God's gift to women, when in reality, the only reason they're able to get with so many people is that they will literally try to get with anything that moves. Like, just because you managed to get with one out of a hundred women you tried, doesn't mean you're a hotshot there, bucko. Everyone wants me. Yeah, they want a restraining order against you. Everyone wants me. To F off. <sighs> Crazy lady accuses me of kidnapping my stepson. Tries to kidnap him from me. First, a little backstory. I'm a mixed ethnicity individual. I've been confused for many races over the course of my 29 years on this planet, but I'm literally Caucasian and African American. Usually it can be figured out, but the difference with me is my father is a Caucasian, so therefore my hair is straight. I'm originally from Texas and I'm usually confused for being Mexican, but now I live in Massachusetts and I've never had any issue with anyone concerning my race. Until this day. Also, I am married to a Caucasian woman who had a child before we were married. His father is not in his life, and I took the responsibility because I love this woman and I love this little boy as if he were my own. He's four now, and I've been in his life since he was one. Anyways, on to the story. My wife needed a few things from the grocery store, and she needed to run a few more errands, and usually she just goes and knocks things out herself because I sleep because I work nights, but this particular day I happened to be awake and I offered to go for her. She works hard and does a lot, so I definitely felt it was necessary to do something for her so she could just relax for the day. I took my son with me so she could rest up and just take it easy, and it also gave me time to spend with my son for some bonding. We completed all of the errands, which went smoothly. 
and then headed to the grocery store to finish up our day. My son, being a typical four-year-old, was full of energy, running ahead of me, laughing, and speaking to everyone he comes across, which I generally don't mind as long as he doesn't hit anyone and stays within eye's view. As I'm making my way down an aisle, looking for canned corn, my son jogs to the end of it when an older lady is entering at the other end. My son, being the sweet social butterfly he is, approached and exclaims, and excited, Hi, me four, and me Ryan. Bless his little heart. The lady looked down and says, Well, hello there. You shouldn't be running around unattended. Let's go find your parents. I didn't think anything of her statement because I assumed she just hadn't seen me. Ryan, please come back, bud. He excitedly runs back toward me and starts turning in circles because, you know, he's four. I'm still searching the shelves as the lady walks past me and stops behind me. Again, I think nothing of it because it's a grocery store and you have to share the aisles. I turn my basket around and start to walk towards the front cash registers when this lady literally blocks my path. I say excuse me and try to walk around her and she moves her cart in front of me again. I honestly thought she was just getting confused and said excuse me once again and tried one more time to go around and she just blocks my path. The following convo ensues. Um, sorry about that. We'll get out of your way. Oh, I don't think so. You're not going anywhere with that child. You mean my son? That's not your child. He's white and you're Mexican. You probably didn't even know his name until he said it to me. Sure, whatever lady. Can you just move? My wife is at home and anxiously awaiting for us. Stop your lies. You're not taking him anywhere, you pervert. This whole time my son is standing close to me, holding my leg because he was honestly getting scared. I was getting angry because I hadn't had much sleep and I have a short fuse anyway. Thanks, dad. As you can see, he's standing close to me because he trusts me and you're scaring him. So how about you buzz off? No, he's scared because of you. He just doesn't know how to express it yet. She looks at my son. Come on now, sweetie. I'm here to rescue you. Come with me. Thankfully, my son was able to communicate with her that he wasn't going anywhere with her, but she wasn't having none of it. She literally grabbed my son and began to run. It caught me off guard because I honestly could not fathom what was actually happening. My son starts screaming loudly because he was so scared and this lady is just like, don't worry, sweetie, he won't hurt you, I promise. Suddenly, I snap back into reality and I begin to chase after this crazy winch. While running through the store, I yell for people to stop her and that she's kidnapping my son. And thankfully, a worker stops her before she makes the exit. Why are you stopping me? This Mexican here is trying to kidnap my grandson. My son is literally bawling his eyes out and extending his arms out calling for me. This lady was relentless and would not let go of my son even after he slaps her in the face multiple times. I laughed a little, not gonna lie. At this point, a manager shows up and asks what's going on. The lady spoke before me. This pervert is trying to kidnap my grandson and I was just trying to escape. That's my son, you freaking psycho. Now let him go. The manager didn't know what to believe. I don't blame him, he was caught in a weird situation. So I pulled out my phone and showed him pictures of me and my son that dated a year or so back as proof. This lady still would not give up and accused me of faking them. Like, how would you do that exactly? I'll never know, but whatever. Sadly, there were two other ladies there taking the psycho's side and said I was attempting to kidnap my own son because there was no way we were family because of our different skin tones. One even called the police, which I was actually happy about because I knew they'd be able to review the security cameras. Even still, I called my wife to see if she could come to the store to get this situation cleared up quicker. As soon as I told her what was going on, she zoomed to the store. She got there about the same time as the police. The crazy ladies were giving their statement to the cops when my wife walked in. As soon as she walked in, my son goes, Mama, help! My wife is a true mama bear 
and she immediately flew into a rage when she saw this lady holding my son. Let him go now. Sorry, sweetie. I was just trying to protect him from this pervert over here. Yeah, we saw him trying to kidnap him, but this lady saved him. The cop looks at the lady and is confused. I thought this was your grandson. I have no idea who that lady is. She takes out her phone and shows the officer a picture of my mother-in-law. Okay, I'm sorry. He's not my grandson, but I was only trying to protect him from this dirty pervert over here. Yeah, I witnessed the whole thing. Thing. He snatched that child and tried to run away with him, but this lady stopped it. Yes, I saw it too. He needs to be arrested. And you should be thankful that this lady was here to save your son because you obviously just let him loose wherever. Who are you talking about again? All three crazy ladies pointed at me. Oh, you mean my husband? Husband? Yeah, who do you think called me and got me here so fast? I presented my ID to the officer, and the manager and my wife did the same. We also each showed pictures of us on our phones to prove we were really family. The cop nodded in approval and handed us our phones back and jotted down a few notes. The three ladies for some reason still kept trying to say this was all fake and my wife was in on the kidnapping and said we needed to be arrested. My wife lost it at this point and let off some colorful words. I won't repeat here, but she definitely got her point across. Then the nail in the coffin came for the psycho trio. The officer turned to the manager and asks, Sir, do the cameras work here? Yes, we have them inside and out. Okay, great, let's go review. The three ladies' faces went pale, like ghostly pale. The officer reviewed the outside camera as I pulled into the parking lot and saw me take my son out of my car. And then as I went up and down the aisles, and most importantly, the instance the woman snatched up my son and began to run. Upon his return, he asks, would you like to press charges? Yes, I would. Why would I be asking you that question? Shut your mouth and sit down. He turns to me and repeats the question. Absolutely. Lady One was charged with attempted kidnapping, false imprisonment, providing a false police report, and child endangerment. The other two were also charged with providing a false police report as well. To make matters worse for Lady One, my son bruises easily and she left some terrible spots on him from where she was grasping him. But he's fine. This added a charge of child abuse to her rap sheet. I have court later this year, but I'm not sure when because of COVID. The officer will be following up with me in a few weeks. Ugh, oh my gosh. When will people learn to just mind their own business and stop being racist? Pieces of crap. Behavior like this is so unacceptable, and if OP was truly trying to steal some random kid, I highly doubt the child would come when he was called and be so comfortable. Dumb Karens. There was an update to this story, but sadly it got deleted. However, what I can gather from the comments is that the main Karen is related to a cop or someone that works in law. It's her nephew, I think. So she had an inside person that fought for her and she got off with a measly conviction of one day in jail for attempted kidnapping. That's it. No fines, no nothing, just a one day charge. The other Karens got off with nothing as well. It's annoying when the justice system fails like this, but we all know the justice system is corrupt AF. It's truly not what you know, it's who you know. And if you know the right people, you can literally get away with anything and it's so sad. But anyways, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed those two Entitled People stories. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate when you do. And I will see you in the next Reddit story. Bye!